Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Hope you guys are having a phenomenal day, as always. And we're at episode number five of the Race to Division One on Ultimate Team. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Finally decided to go ahead and switch teams for you guys. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to make a La Liga team. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this episode. Now, the team, I tried to make it cheap. I think it's around 40, 45,000 coins. But I will give you guys some options to go ahead and choose from in the positions where you can go a little bit cheaper. So I went ahead with the 4-3-3-3 formation with the two central defensive mids. I've mentioned this before that I really like formations with two DMs this year. It seems really solid defensively and you have a lot more passing options moving forward. The only thing is sometimes the defensive mids are really out of position even if you instruct them to stay back while attacking. So do be careful with that is sometimes you are going to get counterattack you can put your team on defensive. I personally don't unless uh, the guy I'm playing against is just trying counterattack after counterattack after counterattack. Then I'll go on defensive. But other than that, I leave everything else on normal. There are some other instructions you can play around with with the formation. But I haven't played this formation enough to know the proper instructions to give you guys... Um, the, the ones I use for you guys to go ahead and try. So no suggestions for that just yet. Now, I haven't used this formation at all this year, even in the draft mode. So the draft mode, I've been playing quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw probably the record before I hopped into the, um, hopped into, well, I guess you can see it right now because we are still searching for plays. So I, I have a few losses in draft mode, and that's because I, I like to explore all these different formations on that mode, just so that I'm able to try all these different players, all these different formations and so far my favorite formation is the 4231 wide i think it's really balanced it's got everything you need but we'll see how everything goes we'll see how it plays out the reason why i didn't want to do another 4231 team is i feel like you guys have already seen me play with that so i decided to go ahead with the 433 now you guys are seeing me build the team here and i'm trying to get all the players as cheap as possible um, and you guys see what I do there I just literally just go and find whatever is the cheapest on the market and buy it nothing too complicated there so as we are looking through the team so far Busquets uh, one of you guys had mentioned that you guys wanted me to use him so I went ahead and picked him up he's actually really really good this year you guys are going to see in the upcoming match he's really fun to use um, and that's crazy to say and that's why I really like this FIFA over any other FIFA the past few years is that Normally, you just wouldn't see those types of players being used on these teams, but finally, they are so viable to be used on the pitch, man. They're so fun to use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some alternatives if you guys want to build a team similar to this one. So, the cheap players are ready on the team, which you probably will see in just a short bit here. You've got Vieto, who can go for 850 coins. Nothing crazy. Very, very cheap. Um, Vela is a few thousand coins if you guys want to pick them up. There are other options there on the right side in the La Liga that you can go ahead and use. Um... You know, there you can use pretty much anyone with just a decent amount of dribbling and a decent pass stat. So look for those two. Pace, if you want to look at that on your winger, I mean, I guess you could. I personally, um, I mean, he's got 86 pace, which is way more than enough. So if you do want to look at pace, that's fine. If you want to substitute someone there, uh, Konoplyanka, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I'm not 100% sure, but he is an absolute animal on the left wing there man he's so good on the game he's got the four star skills i believe he's got a three star or four star weak foot and he's actually got decent physical i know it only has 66 on his card but it's it feels a lot more than that in the game he's a really really good player to use and he's only a few thousand coins i believe um for the center mid position i actually ended up using the loaned version of iniesta who is incredible and i'll talk about I'll talk about more about good passers as you guys are going to watch the upcoming match. But you can change out uh, Iniesta for Kovacic, I believe his name, for Real Madrid. He's a 78-rated center mid. Uh, I believe he's also a few thousand coins, nothing crazy. He's 81 pace, uh, 66 shooting, 81 passing. So he's not going to get you the best shots in the world, but he's definitely going to be able to maneuver the ball for you. And then the other central defensive mid position, we had Nzonzi, which he's already cheap as well, and he's pretty solid. But there are a couple of mentions we can go ahead and talk about for the center back's position. I did spend a little bit of coins, or each a few thousand, but if you, you can go with Victor Ruiz, you can go with Vermalen. Um, for another central defensive mid, I believe is it's pronounced Krishkowski, or no, I'm sorry, it's not Krishkowski, it's... Um, 
what's his name? Jeez, I forgot his name. That Polish guy. I believe it's uh, uh, Krzyzowiak or something like that. Krzyzowiak. I forgot his name. I think that's what his name is. But he's an 82 rated central defensive mid. I was looking at him earlier and he's got crazy stats from what I remember. I think he had decent pace, decent passing, decent defending. Everything was good. So those are alternative you can use. I went ahead and put Mustafi on the team. Really solid center back even from last year. Still good on FIFA 16. And here's the completed team, as you guys can finally see um, what we have built. So we'll play with it for a few games as we're going to try to get adjusted to the new formation. So it's going to take me a few games to just really polish out my gameplay here as we jump into the first match, finally, of this episode. And look at this for a squad. Kun Aguero and Costa up top as a partnership. Full BPL side in form. Zuma, Matic at CDM. Man, this team was really, really good for you know, the start of FIFA here. But anyhow, uh, as I was mentioning, trying to get used to this formation now as it's our first game, but right off the bat, I was able to maneuver the ball quite easily as we find Vela in the box. Fake shot onto his strong foot, takes a shot, but Courtois makes it look real easy. Doesn't even mishandle the ball, and he's an amazing keeper on the game. Uh, and I'm sure you guys have seen that keepers are much more improved or much improved from last year, and uh, it's definitely noticeable. It's definitely noticeable, especially when you have a good keeper. So someone like Courtois, man, he bosses the net. But uh, again here, just moving the ball around nicely, finding open spaces, and this is what I'm talking about, center, center defensive mids just pushing up forward. And Zanzi playing as a winger, uh, try to cross it in, and look at Superman coming out of nowhere and just grabbing grab that ball out of the air as we go into the second half still at a deadlock still nil nil as he finds Nazri here down the left wing and he's gonna cross it in look at Guneguero he's unmarked and he heads it into the back of the net 47 minutes in which is gonna leave us a little bit in desperation mode because I hadn't played from behind in a while here probably the first time in seasons but our squad was still doing a great job passing and moving and Zanzi takes a shot Courtois what else of course he's gonna save it uh, as he's been doing all match so far I haven't showed every single shot on target but man he was a beast in net as we break free down the left wing take a shot near post but it just doesn't bend enough to get into the back of the net still trying to look for that goal in this match Iniesta who has been tremendous on this team I cannot stress good passers feel like amazing passers on this game someone like Iniesta who's gonna go ahead and give us the equalizer in the 88th minute so we walk away with a draw a little bit shaky for this on our first match still won the division so we're gonna get promoted to division eight but very very shaky man that 4-3-3 not as confident as I felt in the beginning of the match but you guys see the match stats there um held possession quite well pass accuracy still up there got plenty of shots on target but could not walk away with a victory However, we still got that one point, still got the title, uh, which is going to head us into Division 8. Now, I know not a lot of gameplay in this episode, and I do apologize, but I'll try to make my episodes a little bit shorter, hopefully between like six, five or six minutes long. Let me know if you guys would prefer that. Uh, and with that said, next episode will be cruising through Division 8. So we'll see you guys really, really soon.